Good morning, Mr. Speaker. Thank you. Um, my question is to the Premier. The third wave has been devastating to York Southwestern, a community of essential workers and marginalized populations. As a high risk and hot spots, we need to make, to make a priority for vaccinations. And so far, we have few mobile pop-ups and no permanent facility or location. And now, this week, our residents are forced to travel outside of the community for any hope of getting their vaccine. Our residents are looking for the government to provide the health care they need right here, right now, in the community. Workers need adequate basic days as well as part time off to get their vaccinations they are waiting for. When is this government going to act with urgency when it comes to stopping COVID transmission in our community? To reply to the Minister of Labour, Training and Skills Development. Well, thank you uh, very much. I thank the uh, member uh, opposite for the opportunity to get up and, and talk about what we're doing uh, for workers in this province. In fact, Mr. Speaker, we were the very first uh, province in Canada uh, since COVID-19 uh, hit this country to bring in a comprehensive 23 uh, days of paid sick leave uh, for workers, a combination of uh, the federal government's uh, program and ours. But Mr. Speaker, I'm extremely proud of our worker income protection benefit. Uh, it does not require uh, a sick note from doctors, and it uh, ensures that workers uh, stay home if they're feeling unwell, if they are getting a COVID test and waiting for uh, COVID results, if a worker has to go and get vaccinated, or if a worker has to stay home and recover from uh, a vaccination. But Mr. Speaker, we go even further. If there's workers out there uh, being impacted by COVID-19, sorry, by uh, mental health issues related to COVID-19, uh, they can stay home and be paid for that. If you're a mom or a dad that has to stay home because your child has uh, COVID symptoms, stay home and get paid. Supplementary. Thank you. Again, uh, my question is to the Premier. High risk and hot spots like York Southwestern, that is home to so many essential workers, need to be not treated like an afterthought by this government. I have been approached by essential businesses who would like to get their essential workers vaccinated right at their workplace, but cannot afford to cover the cost of arranging for that, Mr. Speaker. Why is this government not making it easier for workplaces to vaccinate their employees on the spot? And why is this government not working with these essential businesses help vaccinate workers and mitigate COVID transmission, Mr. Speaker? Thank you. The Solicitor General. Thank you, Speaker, and I'm, uh, I'm actually really glad that the, the member opposite raised this because uh, it's very exciting. One of the other pathways for individuals to get vaccinated is mobile mini vaccination sites that are moving into some of the areas and smaller businesses that do not have the facility or the bandwidth to put on their own uh, vaccination clinic. So in fact, we have ramped up with the help of uh, Red Cross and Medibee to actually have teams go out and go to those smaller businesses. And I hope that the member opposite would share the names of those businesses with us so that we can reach out, connect, and make sure that that is available to them and their employees. Thank you, Speaker. 